So we're getting our raise, we preparing the wood. We preparing the wood for our res bed. So we're gonna do it uh, eight by four. So we just wanna measure this to four feet. You just wanna measure it to four feet, mark it for the cut. Four feet here. I guess mark it. Uh, we get the cut right here. Right here. And that's where we're gonna cut it. We're gonna run it right through. Rate it. Put it to the side. We're gonna do that for most of them, and then we're gonna start putting everything together. And we'll keep you posted. Alright, so got most of the res beds built. There's the key bed. So now I'm just gonna stir up the ground a little bit before I lay down some ground covers. And um for my choice right now, I'm gonna use leaves and then I'll spray down with a little bit of water. Then I let the ducks and the chickens come and do what they do, let the worms come in. Then from there, I'm gonna cover this real good in here. So the idea is to cover this real good with the leaves, let it sit for like about a week. And then I'm gonna um, week or two. And then I'll lay the compost down. And then I'll lay the compost down. I lay some peat moss, some soil, mix it all together, and then I lay more leaves on top of that. And that will be my prep for the winter. Uh, building this herb bed. Since I had the herb here already, I decided to just build the bed around it. So. Should be done with this very soon, as you can see. Still in the process of building this one. So the idea is for this whole entire area to be filled with rasp beds. The soil you is basically ready because we laid down the, um, the wood chip from last year. So the soil you've been cooking, this area have a big issue with like all these wild weeds growing up everywhere. So. And the grass was heavy, crazy, so it took time, but it's cooking in. You know we got that area as well too. Fully wood chip. Doing his work, so. Slowly but surely, everything gonna come together. Look at it now, and you'll see it soon. Prepping them for the winter, they'll be coming back next season. We spend this whole year getting everything ground covered with the wood chip, getting the permaculture started. Now, spend the whole winter building beds and getting the um, garden ready so that next year we can have our dream. They're gonna be the ones doing most of the job. 
give them a nice shot. Where are the chickens? The chickens are probably napping, being lazy because they ate good. But um, they're gonna be the one coming inside these rest beds, turning the leaves, turning everything around. You're gonna come in here once the worms start coming in. This is leaves, this ground cover. So this is gonna bring the worms. They're gonna come, turn it around, try to eat the worm. They're gonna poop all in here. I'm gonna throw the compost on top of this. Mix it with some soy and whatever other mixture that I need to mix in there. As you can see, this is my walkway. I will not be planning nothing here. This is where I will come, be able to do what I gotta do without having to step inside. You understand? I have the outer perimeter to do what I gotta do on the outside area. And then from right here, then do what I need to do in the inner perimeter. This is called a key raised bed. A key raised bed. Why? Because this is basically where you put the damn key. <laughs> you understand? So that's why they call it a key raised bed. I'm not the first to build it. Many has built it before, but hey. Right, let's try to get yeah, this built. All right. So this is basically how we've been building these res beds. I'm gonna do this long. I'm gonna do this long 16 foot by um, four. It's gonna be 16 by four feet on res bed to take up this area. And we'll see how it come out. I'm just gonna go through it with you guys so you see how I did it. So as you can see, I already completed this one here. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. After I, I do all of them, Put the screw in, it will level out. You don't want to put it all the way in, just in case. You do need to remove it. So you want to get all of them in first, then you push it in, then you, you drill them in. Because you want to make sure the wood continues to stay evened up. to catch the wood you move on to the next one this is just to make sure all the wood stays in place now we come and we do this here Then you see the gap, you wanna stand like this. Especially if you're doing it by yourself. Now, if you have somebody to help you that could hold it for you, they can hold it for you, but if not, use your legs, push them together. Straighten it out. There's a method for you to be able to do it by yourself.
make sure the ground level uh, when it goes in properly. Screwdriver. Put the other end, then I'll put one right here in the middle. Right. One in the middle. Foot rest bed. Talk about it. Talk about it. Hey. 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 Final job. The final step. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we have the four by 16. We have the key bed. We have the eight by four. We have another eight by four with a truck with the um, tomato trailer right there. That's for the tomatoes. And of course, I grow some peppers and stuff in there as well. And then we have the herbs bed, which is now completed. So this is where we left off, where we just put in the finishing touch, just put it laying down the finishing touch, so as you can see, the finishing touch was laid down, and the piece for the middle was put in, the very long bed, but because there is growing here already, as you can see, they were already growing here, so instead of me um, unrooting them and doing all that, unnecessary business I just built the bed right around it so the most I will have to do is just add some compost a little bit of pea moss um, add some soil you know um, worm casting you know the, the usual just mix it up and that to fill it in fill it up some more Hello farm creatures, hello my workers, after you guys eat, it will be nice if you go poop inside of my res bed to get these things going.